Shalom, all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Shalom to the elect Bashim Rachakwadash. My name is Yakabo from Plain Tables Camp. The apostle was going through uh, fake food or fake fruit. And I've been hearing about this for a while. Either the uh, fake food or the products that aren't really uh, actually food there uh you might be parts of a, a person or components of a person and or different say uh ingredients to make up something that we would call that will look like food on the outside all right let's go into what the apostle has to say he's reviewing uh video from this youtuber here you can see him one video there was another video there's a couple of videos out there uh on tiktok and youtube where they're claiming that uh whole foods and then also in the same video costco's is selling um fake foods so you can watch this uh video right here and now if that's the case, I believe that's coming out of uh, the land of Moab because they make fake eggs, fake rice, fake a lot of the rice that you get. They um, a lot of it is plastic rice. Um, so we'll hear about that. Let hope, hopefully this my video will go somewhat viral and other these other very videos go viral. This was put up a day a day ago. This is uh, Jimmy Dore, uh, the Jimmy Dore show, 140,000 views in one day. And got this video, TikTok, which is uh, YouTube, TikTok ex exposing, explode, <laughs> exploding with uh, rubber rubber fruit. What is really going on? Right. Now, you have people that are saying that these things exist because they're, I guess they're reviewing videos of people doing it. I don't know if the people that are actually reviewing it actually have the items, but we do know that our bread is defiled. Whether this is like a big hoax or not, I don't, I don't know. Um, you, because I th believe they're reviewing someone making a video of it. So what the scriptures say about our food? The scriptures, uh, first example was uh, Ezekiel. So we know the food that we eat is uh, the best or the worst. All right, we're still breaking down. We still still have. Uh, you know issues health issues here and there you know some of us have more health issues than others so we know that it is written in the book of ezekiel that our bread it was going to be defiled among the gentiles meaning our food amongst the edomites amongst the nations that, that were scattered if we we're scattered in china our, our food is defiled amongst them uh america in different places in europe it's not the food that promotes you know your uh, maximum health all right it's, it's going to be weakened because the world is under a curse the earth is under a curse it says ezekiel 4 and 11 thus so drink also water by measure the sixth part of the hen uh, from time to time uh, salt thou drink and thou shalt eat it as barley cakes and thou shalt bake it with dung that cometh out of man in their sight so f for an example of the, the bread going to be defiled most high wanted ezekiel to bake his uh food his cakes barley cakes with human feces and yahweh said even thus shall the children of israel eat their bread defiled among the gentiles whether i will drive them right these are the same gentiles who cannot be delivered by the way all right so the children of israel are eating bad food amongst other nations also 
They're eating bad food too. All right. But the centerpiece, the world was created for the Israelites. So the main character in the scriptures are the Israelites. We are the main characters. All right. So yeah, we eat our bread to fight among Gentiles, but they're they're eating it too. All right. Bread among the Gentiles, whether I will drive them. So these Gentiles can't be saved. This is a prophecy that has come to pass and it's still we're still living in it. All right. This this prophecy wasn't amended because certain people that, that go to these churches believe every, everybody has the opportunity to be saved. That's crazy. And then said, I, ah, Lord, how behold, my soul hath not been polluted from my youth up even till now. Have I not eaten of that which dieth of itself or it is torn with the beast? Neither came uh, there abominable flesh into my mouth. May he kept the laws. All right, and we're still supposed to keep these laws. All right. But we're under that curse. So we're forced to eat the bad food. Then he said low unto me because the, the evil and righteousness, good and evil, that's all controlled by the Most High. He dispatches the curses, the blessings, and the grace. All right. So we're being built back up. We're being taught by through the scriptures through our apostles and elders how to serve the Lord pro properly. All right, and it's not uh, like technically perfect, but it is because what Yahweh Shah said it says, "Thy grace is sufficient for thee." All right, it was that was an example of a thorn in Paul's side. I right? mean, we're not going to get it, uh, everything right, but we're going to get it uh, right enough in the eyes of the Most High because we're rehearsing the righteous acts. All right. So we can't obtain absolute perfection in the flesh, but it's in the eyes of the Lord. It is perfection. All right. It's acceptable perf uh, perfection. Then he said unto me, lo, I have given thee cow's dung for man's dung. And I still pollute it. And thou shalt prepare thy bread therewith. Notice he didn't, he, he uh, just accepted it after that. Well, you continue reading. All right. So that, that's still abominable. Because it has to be the, the Yahweh Shai, well, Yahweh is dramatic. All right? he, he made Ezekiel eat shit. All right? Then he said to me, uh, use the uh, cows. Uh, moreover, he said to me, son of man, behold, I will break the staff of the bread in Jerusalem, and they shall eat bread by waiting. All right? So he had to prepare, uh, eat those cakes. And that, this was an example of what we're going to be eating today, which is crap or shit. All right. They had an example of the, uh, the Levites, so-called Haitians actually, uh, eating a higher dosage of, uh, mud, mud cakes. I'm going to do the research on that. The elders and apostles did videos on that a little while back or well, a while ago. All right. Mud, eating mud cakes. All right. So we know that the prophecy has come to pass. All right. In a literal sense of actual, you know, shit. And then in the, well, say a literal sense or a figurative sense where the food we eat, the quality is, is bad. It, it uh, it's akin to death and it heals. It doesn't heal. It has a weaker effects to heal you. All right. Because food is supposed to heal you. All right, supposed to nourish you and heal you, you know, depending on the certain foods you, that you eat. All right, now here in Ezekiel, uh, Isaiah twenty-five, you have the earth mourneth and fadeth away, the world languisheth and fadeth away, the haughty people of the earth do languish. All right, the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinances, and broken the everlasting covenant. Now the first people that have done this were the Israelites alright our ancestors and then through us because we went off alright then we went into slavery alright so now the earth uh, because the, the whole world was created for our sakes so if we go off the, the world is going to be in a, in a worse condition alright now we're being punished alright now amongst Israel Yahweh Shai has raised up prophets to put 
the elect of Israel back on the right path so we can be delivered. Yahweh Shai Ratzah. So therefore hath the curse devoured the earth and they that dwell therein are desolate therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burnt and few men left in it. Uh, so now you got the other nations they can't even because uh, even though they weren't given the laws right and the ordinances the, the laws were put up because that's the the uh, the spirit that the, the Lord put out like the land Sabbath is, is a good example all right that would keep the earth bringing a uh, cycle and going back through a cycle so it could yield her fruit properly and her vegetables properly all right so when that's not being followed that's that's, an, that's one example you know it uh hurts the earth all right then you have the different companies all right amongst uh china america europe africa south america all these countries together they destroy the earth and it was started by the so-called you no know, esau uh so-called white man all right with the air pollution water pollution you know through the uh so-called industrial revolution all right so the earth is, is being hurt right now because of this technology that's supposed to uh bring us you know make give us an easier life so to speak all right therefore had the curse devout the whole earth all right so you polluting the earth all right and they that dwell therein are desolate therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men left yeah because eventually what's going to happen the uh babylon america is going to be just totally destroyed all right you're going to have uh millions of people who are going to die of fear uh, from wars from different different uh e this ease all right earthquakes when the, when the uh missiles bombard the uh babylon america all right so we know that the earth is not in the full strength and it started with the Israelites going off. All right. And then the rest of the nations uh, following suit. Now, they, they were never given the laws to understand. But the centerpiece was was Israel. All right. And as time progresses, is the earth is growing weaker. All right. Because the, the righteousness isn't dwelling in abundance on earth. The only righteous people on earth are the, are the elect of Israel right now. Right, so, and we we are Yahweh Shai Rajah is our small number. All right, so the earth is still degrading and degrading and degrading until the time of restitution. All right, that's when the earth is going to be renewed. All right, and that's the cycle that the Lord wants. He wants it like that. All right, so we went off. The elect are going to uh, come back. The earth is going to slowly die and then it's going to be rejuvenated. All right, so the food is bad. All right, the food is bad. All right, that's that's the way the Lord wanted it. All right, the, the, these are the, the prophecies. All right, that have come to pass. These they prove it. All right, in Revelation eighteen eleven, and the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead that they should be judged, and thou shalt that that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants the prophets, and to this and to the saints. And them that fear thy name, small and great, and should it destroy them which destroy the earth. All right. Yeah, ge for earth. Yeah, dia. No, dia thyro or dia thyro. Uh, to change for the worse. So the earth is changing for the worse. So these uh, scriptures uh, link up with each other. Of the worm or moth that eats provisions cloth. Yeah, the worm. So the earth is slowly dying or cir circling the drain to destroy, to kill, to ruin, destroy. So to, to corrupt, to change for the worse. And of the worm. All right. In this sense, our food and our ecosystem. All right. So we know from our bread to the soil to the air. It's fading. All right. So, where was Apostle's video? Yeah. So, fake food. Yeah. That's the only part of it. You got the fake food and you got the, the, the air pollution, water pollution. The people's minds are poisoned with doctrines, different uh, false doctrines. All right. So, if what did the Lord say? It says, if 
those days don't be shortened, there'll be no flesh to be saved. I'll end it with that. And we hear Mark 13 and 20. I go to the point, except that the Lord has shortened those days, no flesh should be saved. This is the time of Jacob's trouble. Martial law, persecution, mass uh, uh, deletions, famines, all right, uh, insecure dwelling places, all right, and then on top of that, the food is defiled, all right, but for the elect's sake whom he hath chosen, he hath shortened those days, uh, so we know that the, the last day we're, we're in the last days but we're approaching the very end but hopefully within the next you know a few years all right and except that you, you uh, the lord had shortened those days no flesh should be saved all right so we know that the time we're coming in is is uh, a time of distress and, per, and perplexity all right so we need yahweh shai our creator for salvation all right, it don't matter if you keep the, the laws perfectly, which you can't. These these curses, this is a curse. <laughs> when the Lord said this, is this blue letter? Yeah, this this wasn't uh like a law, or he, he was just saying it to say it. This is this is an actual curse. All right, for in those days shall shall in for in those days shall be affliction, such as was not from the beginning of of creation which the power created unto this time neither shall be so affliction what the time of jacob's trouble all right it's for the israelites but the, the world is going to receive this in their various uh uh governments all right and it's going to be focused on what the main people the israelites and whoever is not compliant with this, the current system that's uh being implemented which is the uh revelation 13 15 on down the motb all right and that's going to be uh the main part of the uh, affliction and persecution all right that's going to be the excuse all right and they're going to hunt down them that fear the lord first you got the first you have the the israelites all right and then the other nations all right uh which they're just the uh their secondary or tertiary all right but the, the persecution as it is written all right, they, they'll be persecuted too in, in their own right. But the uh, this this you know, this is our book, and Yahweh Shai, uh, the prophets wrote these as a warning for us because we're under that curse. All right, if you're aff afflicted and poor, all right, and it affects you. Uh, oh yeah, of course it affects you. If you're afflicted and poor, all right, and it's aff affecting you know, generations. All right. Of you know your genetic line, that's the curse that the Israelites are under. That's a sign. Now you have other people suffering, but this is a sign that you are an Israelite. All right. So I'll leave that there. Like you always had wars, and you know they say, oh, it's not talking about that. Well, it's that's a sign. All right. The Lord gave gave us signs, famines, you know, wars, and rumors of wars, you know, poor and needy. Now, these are signs that the, the scriptures are, are true. And then you can pick, you know, groups of people on the earth who these uh, curses fit and blessings fit. All right. And together, you know who the Israelites are. All right. And then in the end, the scriptures say the angels are going to uh, sever the wicked from among the just. All right. So ultimately, the, the Lord is the judge. All right. We're, we're, we're our, our job is to preach the gospel. And then draw in with the net the believers. All right. And the believers are all Israelites. And if you happen to not be an Israelite, the angel is going to get you, going to separate you. Now, so I hope you edify. Shalom.